I find point and click games can be hit or miss for me. I'm not a huge fan of the genre as there's not a lot of gameplay so it really comes down to the characters, stories and puzzles. 2064 Read Only Memories is one of those rare point and click games that had me hooked within 30 minutes of starting the game. You play as a tech journalist that wakes up to find a little robot in your room called Turing. Turing tells you that one of your old friends has been kidnapped and he needs your help to find him. Turing was created by your friend and is the first sapient robot to exist and that has made your friend a target from various groups. You visit various locations around 2064 San Francisco searching for clues to find your missing friend and identify who kidnapped him. The story was very good and held my attention throughout. I was really interested in finding out what had happened to my friend. The game has an excellent mix of characters but Turing is the standout. That little robot is so likeable and the voice actor did a fantastic job of bringing out his character. Other characters were well voiced but I just felt Turing's voice was perfectly suited to its look and personality. There were dialogue choices when interacting with characters you meet along the way. I played the game as a nice guy but I'm curious to go back and see how the interactions would change if I were to be rude to everyone I met. The city of San Francisco was so interesting. Although the game is primarily clicking on items and people in still images, the city was so well developed. You really get a feel for life in the year 2064 and the social issues that still plague society, like discrimination and inequality. The pixel art graphics were good, although I didn't love the style. I prefer the more detailed pixel art, like in games like Iconoclast for example, but this does the job. The music was really good and catchy. It did feel a bit too upbeat at times and not necessarily suiting the mood of the discussions I was having, but otherwise I liked the music. Overall, 2064 is an excellent story to play through. If you like point and click games or games with a futuristic setting, then this is easy to recommend. The world was just so intriguing. I would love to have another game set in this world, but as a 3D adventure or exploration game. That's not easy to pull off for an indie studio, but I just feel there's so much potential for gameplay and story in this world. So guys, have you picked up 2064 Read Only Memories? What did you think about it? Leave a comment below, and as always, thanks for watching.